Hi everyone and welcome back. Looking out over the fall colors here in the FM area, but wow, it sure does not feel like it. It's 89 degrees, feels like 90. We have one degree to go to tie the record of 90 that was set back in 1897. So it is another sizzling day here in Fargo. Cooler up in the Northern Valley. It's 76 right now in Grand Forks with more abundant cloud cover as well. We've got a big divide in temperatures across the valley due to a stationary front, a front that's not moving, simply dividing two air masses. So we have a warm air mass with temperatures in the 80s and even a few in the 90s and our cooler air mass with temperatures in the 60s and and 70s. That cooler air mass also has more abundant cloud cover and that front that's currently in place is going to be bringing some changes late tonight and through the next couple of days. So late tonight, primarily during the overnight hours, we do have a chance for some isolated strong to severe storms in parts of the Devil's Lake Basin down into South Central North Dakota. More widespread chance for isolated strong to severe storms through the day tomorrow with wind and hail being our primary threats. So here's what we can expect for the rest of our evening. Conditions are going to be relatively quiet. We're hot and gusty in parts of the Southern Valley and much of Lakes Country. Cooler with less wind, but more clouds up to the north and west. Now, overnight, we're going to be a bit breezy with more extensive cloud cover and our first round of showers and storms arrives overnight. So this is as we approach 5 a.m. Some isolated showers and storms in northeastern North Dakota may be strong to severe with that wind and hail threat. A bit of patchy fog possible as well. Otherwise, we're breezy through tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the 60s to near 70 degrees. A bit of a break in the activity through the mid morning and then a second wave of showers, perhaps a few rumbles of thunder late mid morning through the early afternoon before yet another break temperatures once again on the warmer side as that stationary front will still be in place. And then our third round of showers and storms arrives as we're getting off of work, heading home for dinner. This is going to be more widespread, so widely scattered and could again be strong to severe with that wind and hail threat. So first thing in the morning, strong storms, non severe early afternoon, late afternoon through the evening our second risk of severe storms. Temperatures tomorrow morning, or excuse me, tomorrow afternoon, again, cooler to the northwest, warmer to the south and east. And we have a couple chances for rain through the next several days. We're going to remain a bit unsettled through about Thursday night. Now, our forecast models only go out to about noon on Thursday, so this doesn't encompass total precipitation chances, but some areas could see one to two inches of rain by the time uh, our week is over. Looking ahead to your extended planning forecast, look at those temperatures dropping like they saw a state trooper in the median. We're going from 80s <laughs> to 50s, more like the speed limit uh, <laughs> and quieter through the next week. Those are for well. the highs, whose the lows are going to be a bit chilly too some yeah, of those days. 30s and 40s. Oof, thanks, Summer.